Well, how did I get into clinical genetics? Um, well, as a, a medical student, um, I didn't want to go st straight from second MB into the wards, and I persuaded eventually uh, uh, somebody to let me do a BSc, where there was some genetics, because I'd always been sort of vaguely interested in genetics. And at the same time, it, I, I discovered that I had beta thalassemia trait, which is a bit unusual for apparently you know, endogenous English family, and we were a big family. So I did a little research as a medical student on beta thalassemia. So I'd got into that type of genetics. And then, of course, um, uh, one um, did a secondment as a, as a clinical student, and I, I went to Great Ormond Street to, uh, to see how they did genetics there um, uh, with Cedric Carter. And, of course, it, we had Paul Polanyi, who would do the occasional ward round which were absolutely inspiring. And so, I suppose, um, all those things, I ended up qualified wondering whether to do paediatrics or clinical genetics, but there wasn't really much on the clinical genetics side then. You know, there wasn't a discipline. I mean, John Fraser Roberts had just come over from Great Ormond Street, two guys as well, so I knew there were people doing what I regarded as clinical genetics. Anyway, it was quite straightforward. Um, when I was uh, a houseman, I um, saw an advert for a job, an uh, SHO job in Liverpool, with uh, Cyril Clark was one of the people. So I contacted Cyril Clark, um, because I'd read his book, or knew about his book, and he said, no, no, um, uh, don't come to that, uh, don't apply for that job, uh, meet me at the college. So I met him at the college, and he said, Yes, well, that's, that's great, but come a, 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 a medical geneticist, he didn't use the word clinical geneticist, and, um, and said, uh, um, uh, get back in contact when you've got the membership, which, since I'd only just qualified. But, but in fact, he um, rang me up. Uh, I got the, the uh, uh, news on a Saturday morning, and by Saturday evening he rang me up and said, come to Liverpool. And of course, because of the beta thalassemia, I linked up with um, uh, Professor David Wetherill, who was there, um, because I had this idea if I switched on fetal hemoglobin, it would cure. It wasn't my idea, I'd heard Fessas say it, but I was enamoured by the idea of switching on fetal hemoglobin and, and uh, curing sickle cell disease and thalassemia.